Hello everybody, this is Suzanne from 120 Crayons, and uh, you just got to see my onesies. So we only had one vlog this week, it was from Jessie, um, <clears throat> uh, and she talked a lot about the stuff that's been happening between North and South Korea yesterday, I guess, or the, yeah. By the way, I'm filming this on Wednesday because tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I'm not going to be around. <laughs> the Korea stuff, and she asked what I think about it, like what I think is going to happen, you know? <clears throat> and I'm not really sure if I think it's going to become a World War Three. <laughs> I think it's going to have to escalate pretty quickly for it to become a World War because um, if, like... If the rest of the world is given a lot of time to, you know, negotiate and everything, then it's not going to become a world war, because we're all going to have worked it out, <laughs> except maybe, <coughs> except maybe, uh, North and South Korea, but, <clears throat> um, if it does escalate insanely quickly, then it definitely could become a world war three. Um, I think that <clears throat> if... I don't even I don't even know what it would be like. Um and related to that, Jesse also asked like what wars we were really interested in when we were younger or still are. Um I oh my god, when we learned about the French Revolution in school, it was awesome. I mean, a terrible occurrence, obviously, but I don't know, it was just so passionate like everything about it was just so like and really made not very much sense <laughs> plus the guillotine i think that was a genius thing i mean obviously nobody should be killed by it but <laughs> it's the guillotine that's cool <laughs> if i were gonna be killed by something i would want to be killed by the guillotine preferably because i was standing up for something i believed in and Jesse also asked us what we're doing for Thanksgiving. I'm going while well, I work uh, most of the day. And then Patrick, my brother, is picking me up. We're going to my grandparents' house. And then tomorrow I'll probably go over to my other grandparents' house for lunch or coffee or something like that. Since I'm not going to be able to stay for their Thanksgiving dinner on Friday. But yeah, that's the, my plan is all for Thanksgiving. Um, so I've been thinking, uh, my movie reviews have pretty much become me saying, I watched this movie, I liked it, here were the actors that were in it, go watch it. And that's not really what I wanted them to be, I wanted them to be more critical, but I'm, I'm just not getting it, I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> so I've decided to instead of passing on my love for movies, I'm gonna pass on my love for words. I love words. You can do so much with them. Oh my god. Like, there's nothing you can't do, you can't express or create with words. Like, you can do everything with, I mean, except like, I mean, you could, I, you could eat, you could eat words. I mean, not the ones that you say, but the ones that you write, you can eat those. But that, that, that's not what I'm talking about. So I've decided to write you a little poem every week um, where every single word in the poem has to start with a letter of the alphabet and I'll start with A, obviously. Um, so this one isn't very good. I have the perfect ones written for S, uh, L, and uh, another one I'll have to look for it. But, so this is the one for A. Whoa. Alien and I. But, uh, I'll read it to you. It doesn't really have any real message. I was just fooling around with words. <sighs> okay, that's dirty. <laughs> but anyways, A, that's the title. Appalling antics, attributions, accusingly accursed articulations abounding, actually ardent actions aren't associated accurately. It's pretty short. Um, the last three lines I really like. Um, accursed articulations abounding. Actually, ardent actions aren't associated accurately. 
has a tongue twister. I like it. I really do. Um, I, I like a lot of words that start with A. Like ardent, that's really, that's one of my favorite words. Um, abounding is a good word as well. <clears throat> um, let's see. Appalling. That's always a good word to use. Like you, that, that is appalling. Blah, blah, blah. It's so much better than like anything else that you could use in that situation. Antics is also always a good word to use. Um, so pretty much, uh, I, uh, I have a love affair with the English language. Uh, and pretty much any languages, but English is the only one I know. So, I have a love affair with words. This was Suzanne Valentine with 120 crayons. Filming this video on Wednesday, but uploading it on Thursday. Giving you the letter A. Goodbye. Once again, we found ourselves to be lost Holding hands while straying from the path in the forest dark